Hey, good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Tuesday, November the 16th, and here are today's top headlines. A local neighborhood on edge as an armed prowler terrorizes residents and businesses. Police say he's already hit 10 times. Hundreds of parents expected to protest vaccine mandates for students as the deadline for LAUSD employees to prove they're fully vaccinated has already passed. We're live. And the jury in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial will begin deliberations this morning. The early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. Well, good morning to you on this Tuesday. I'm Chris Shaw. And I'm Megan Henderson. Glad you are with us. Uh, we're going to check your commute with Ginger coming up first. Let's check in with Henry. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Megan and Chris. I think we can all rejoice today. A little bit cooler yeah. today. That's the uh, forecast. I know it's been a little bit on the warm side, to say the least. Some would just call it hot. And we still had some heat hanging around yesterday, but today we'll start to really get the effects of that nice onshore flow. And that means some cooling, not just for the coastal areas, but uh, for the inland valleys as well. So mid 60s for the coast, you could see the clouds beginning to build off the Pacific yesterday afternoon. They've moved on shore, starting out cloudy downtown 69 just a couple of days ago. We were in the 90s, 76 for the San Fernando Valley. That's a big cool down. Same for the IE in the Orange County, 71 for a high. Some areas might get into the mid 70s, but the point I think it's uh, obvious to see Ginger that we are in for a big change. Cooler weather and by cooler getting back to the average this time of the year, maybe slightly below it. We'll send it over to you. Tonight. I know just a little over a week away from Thanksgiving. We kind of wanted to be on the cool side. You know, it's interesting too because that fog really started to roll in. So let's take a look at this Caltrans camera so you get an idea of some of the areas where that fog is super thick. So this one actually looks a little bit farther to the south right here, not too far from USC 110 freeway both directions at exposition but probably right at about usc and then points a little bit farther to the south so the south bay uh, signal hill long beach you huntington beach all of you guys have that fog in fact i looked at downtown earlier this morning even and downtown i mean you can just kind of get a hint of the downtown skyline but really it is shrouded in a lot of this thick heavy fog now let's move you over to look at a different camera so you can see what the 91 freeway is like in this case we're not seeing as much fog but the conditions are already starting to fill in. That's the 91 freeway, the westbound side cars coming at us right at Green River. Producer Brian was like, I like this camera. I agree because it gives us a great idea of what we're dealing with this morning. Heavy traffic already and maybe related to a little bit of construction in that spot as well. We'll keep our eyes on all these things, but that fog could be the bigger story later on. We'll send it back to you guys. Ginger, thank you. Breaking news. Orange County Fire Authority investigating the cause of a large two alarm fire. It was reported just after 11 last night at a cell phone tower business on Harvard Street in Santa Ana. Firefighters were challenged by downed power lines and flammable propane tanks at the back of the building. Firefighters prevented the fire from spreading to nearby buildings. A knockdown was declared about 1 a.m. No one was injured. Residents are on high alert this morning in parts of the San Fernando Valley. A man has been caught on surveillance cameras in Shadow Hills, Sun Valley and Sunland since last month, oftentimes holding a hunting rifle and an AR-15. According to the LAPD, the man is believed to be responsible for nearly a dozen burglaries or attempted break ins at homes and businesses from October through November. Police say the crimes occurred at all hours and in one incident, he allegedly pointed a gun at a security guard. The night that he broke into the house down the street, I was home alone, so I was like locking all the doors and every time my ring would go off, I would like check my ring to see who it was. The suspect was last spot.